A term that I come across in a lot of recipes that you might not know what it means or how to do it is julienne. That's what today's class is about. I'm gonna use this nakiri here to julienne and eventually brunoise some radishes and carrots. So a julienne is like a matchstick, but a little bit smaller. A lot of these classical terms, julienne, batonet, even when they don't sound all that classical, large dice, small dice, medium dice, things like that, they're all referring to a very particular size and shape. So a julienne is intended to be as close to shredded as you can do by hand with a knife. It's a very, very fine cut that is going to, it's often used in raw preparations. You know, you put it in a salad. It's essentially making coleslaw by hand, or you can, um, you know, sometimes you'll saute it. It really just depends, but it's supposed to be very, very fine. It's actually a very particular size. It's supposed to be 1 16th of an inch by two inches. So in order to get my julienne, you normally, you gotta take a few steps, right? I've started with a carrot here. You just watched me peel it, but now I'm gonna cut it into more manageable sized pieces, right? Whenever I'm doing this kind of stuff that's extra precise, I wanna make sure that it roughly is, it only takes up one third of my knife, right? I'm gonna do most of the work in the center portion of my knife. I really like a nakiri for this type of work because it's very flat and it's going to cut through the whole vegetable at the same time and touch the cutting board at the same time. So my first step, that's really rolly. It's not the safest thing to cut. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off that is roughly the size I want in the end. Flip it over and now it's nice and steady. And then I'm gonna take slices and I'm gonna cut 1 16th of an inch thick pieces. You'll notice my fingers are curled in. I'm using the, the knuckle of my middle finger to guide my knife. Oh, stuck. Okay, so here we've got these thin little planks. All right, we're gonna use these thin little planks and cut those into sticks. And those sticks are what are gonna be called a julienne. All right, we'll get rid of that guy, you eat that. Eat that if you want. And again, 1 16th of an inch thick. Now, with practice, you can do this a lot faster. I'm going pretty slow here because I want you folks to see what I'm doing. Okay, but look at that. Okay, we want, it, need, it needs to be square on the end if you're gonna call it a julienne and it's about two inches long, okay? So that's a really good garnish for, you could put these carrots raw in a salad. You could, um, I wouldn't garnish a soup with them because they wouldn't fit on a spoon too well. You could saute them. All kinds of stuff, all right? If you're doing one of those very classic preparations, like a, you know, a piece of salmon on papio, you roll it up in the in the parchment paper bag. That's a really nice little garnish. Now, if we wanted to brunoise, which is the dice that derives from the julienne, same thing. Now we just do one sixteenth of an inch cubes. Now they're all supposed to be the exact same size. Don't be too hard on yourself it's, if it takes you some practice. It's not that big of a deal if it's not all perfect. You know, if you're working in a very classical kitchen and the chef is breathing down your neck, you might want to pay a little more attention than what I am. But there we go. That's a brunoise. Another, that's, you know, if you're making a terrine and you want little specks of color or you're making a consomme and you're going to put those vegetables in raw and pour the hot consomme over the top, that's another really great option. But... You know, I'll show you again. If I move a little bit, you can maybe see what's happening on the other side. But you see my middle finger is guiding, dictating how much I'm cutting at once. Okay. And this technique works for all kinds of vegetables. You know, obviously dense ones are gonna work really well, like carrots, celery root, things like that. Um, these radishes go really well. If you wanted to julienne those, you just need to Give yourself something sturdy, something flat. Cut those, those first slices. If it gets to be too, too much, you can't hold on to it anymore. It's not safe, just let it go. Snack on the scraps, it's okay. And then stack them back up. And then Now 
And there we go, Julian Radish. We got most of a coleslaw made. Thanks for watching today's uh, Knifeware Cooks video. We're julienning and eventually making some brunoise. So if you have any questions, if you need any help with anything in particular in your kitchen or with your knives, please shoot us a message at hello at knifeware.com or just check out the website, knifeware.com, and we'll happily lend you all the assistance that we can. We'll talk to you soon. My name is Chris, and thanks for watching.